What's up guys and welcome back to another flight report and tonight we are flying from here Stockholm Islander to London Gatwick on board Norwegian operated by Norwegian Air International and the operating aircraft is a Boeing 737-800 and this time the registration is EIFVW so it's Foxtrot Victor Whiskey taking us back to Gatwick tonight and by the way the aircraft has the sky interior so we're very lucky and we're also very, very lucky because the plane is built in June 2017, meaning it's only eight months old at the moment. And it's less than one year old, wow. So this plane is, did you know that this plane is one of the newest 737-800s in Norwegian's fleet? Excluding the 737 Maxes, not including them. So this is like, I think it's the fifth newest 737-800 in Norwegian's fleet. Not actually the sixth newest, I think. No, it's the fifth newest. So I'm really excited to get on this plane. It's got the new cabin and the new seats and new air conditioning. And by the way, so yeah, so flight number is D82858 and we're right now here on gate 19, boarding from gate 19 where most Norwegian flights to Gatwick depart from. And flight time should be around two hours. And uh, as you can see, this plane just right now, like two minutes ago, came to a stop after landing from Gatwick as D82858. I will now operate back to Gatwick as D82859. By the way, you can see these passengers getting off the plane who have just arrived from Gatwick. So this plane will be flight taking us to Gatwick tonight. And hope you all enjoyed my previous flight report to Arlanda with Golf Bravo Bravo, which was the old cabin. Not really enjoyable to fly on, but this one is gonna be different than that. So that's a close look of our plane, by the way. So registration is Foxtrot Victor Whiskey and the aircraft and the flight is operated by Norwegian Air International. So this plane does have Wi-Fi, as you can see the antenna, and the name of this plane is Richard Muller Nielsen. So this plane has the Telfin hero as a Danish football coach. He, he was a Danish football coach, Richard Muller Nielsen. So yeah, so nothing else to say for now, so we will see you during the boarding. Another close look of the plane, so we will see you during boarding. Thumbs up for this new cabin and the new sky interior on Norwegian. All right, everyone, so this is the exciting bit. We're now boarding Fox Rock Victor Whiskey. Wow, look at this, mate. By the way, we're in seat 21, I forgot to tell you. Wow, look at this. Danish football coach, see? All right then, let's get on the plane. Great view of the plane, by the way. It's really new. Hi there, you okay? Good, good. Wow, look at this fresh new cabin. Wow, look. Look at this new cabin. Really enjoyable to fly on, eh? The plane also smells new. So we had all the supporters on our first flight of the day at half past two and they sort of took everything from our bars. So they were drinking their lives. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all so much that for this flight. But you have some? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> so seat 21, as you can see, so this is our seat for the next two hours. 
I love the seat design, by the way. It's really good. All right, so got our bag there. Let's put our bag in the lockers. Hang on a sec, guys. table looks really nice as well. The cabin smells new. Safety card. And you have your um, air sickness bag here, whatever, your bath bag, and your Norwegian magazine obviously See the leg room. It's yours? Yeah, yeah. By the way, the leg room is really good. A thumbs up for this new cabin. Here's a view of the wing. cabin by the way and here next to us we have an Aeroflot um, came in from Moscow the registration is VPBID this is now a say 320 and over there we have terminal 4 and um, by the way this is seat 21F our seat for the next couple of hours Well, I like the wing design. Thank you. 
Yeah. 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 Take a look at the seat pocket contents. Let's take a look at the um, Edwin Norwegian magazine. It's really good, it looks better than before. It's the fleet. Wow, the camera just generally looks brand new. It's Let's go and sit back and look how new the leather is. So I'll see you during pushback, guys. <laughs> Okay guys, so um, we're now pushing back and the engine's starting up, the first engine's starting and the fuel pumps and the hydraulics are all on. Okay, so we're leaving our gate and the time is now 21.23, so we are a bit delayed on our departure time. But never mind that. So the first engine is on. First engine's on. And, uh, and the second engine's turning on. So you can hear, so you can now hear the air conditioning which is now on, the new air conditioning on the 737s, and by the way, flaps are being set for something, flaps are being, ex oh spoilers. I think flaps, I think it's flaps. Uh, 10 or 15, I'm not sure. Okay guys, so we're now going to taxi and we're leaving our parking position. So there's Aeroflot. And bye bye gate 19, until I see you again next time. And so we'll be flying back on the 2nd of March on DA 285A, departing at 5 in the afternoon from Gatwick. By the way, it is Norwegian and it will be, um, what do they call it?
but I'm going to be studying in Sweden until summer, so I will be um, visiting the UK until then, and then in the UK, and then after June I will be staying in the UK. So I'm only staying in Sweden until summer, for those of you that don't know. So I'm only going to be going to the UK, um, until June I'm only going to be going to the UK for visits. So we're taxiing now, and it's not a fast taxi like Ryanair. We're going to be ta taking off on the runway which goes towards the north. Then we should be making a left turn and then heading down towards the southwest to head. To oh, by the way, that's an SAS 737 700 taking off to somewhere. So I'll see you when we're off the taxiway and taxiing on the runway. Okay guys, so we're now um, going onto the runway for takeoff. So are you all ready? By the way, over there, just took off, is an Ethiopian Airlines heading towards Addis Ababa in Ethiopia. I think it's gonna have a stop maybe in Oslo or somewhere, I'm not sure. Okay, so, by the way, that's a FedEx Boeing 757-200 cargo. Don't know where he's off to. Okay, that's the view of terminals two and three then followed by terminal four and five okay so increasing the power okay then ladies and gentlemen ready taking off
should be around 38,000 feet. And um, we should be arriving in Galwick in about two hours, an hour and a half, something like that. So we're not that far from both Stockholm and Gatwick, but we are every second go as every second goes by, we are getting close to the UK. So let me now show you the cabin. So that's the wing, by the way. Uh, great view of the wing. Wing looks clean as well. We had some de-icing at Arlanda Airport, which I forgot to tell you. So. Um, Fab, it looks fantastic, wow. What, what the hell? I didn't know they have coat hooks. So in that case, I'm gonna hang my jacket. I'm gonna hang, hang my jacket uh, just here. I don't know, it's a really special feature. I'm gonna hang it here. And this is the view of the cabin. This aircraft is the Sky Interior, so it's really new. So eight months old. It's one of the few newest 737s in Norwegian's fleet. Not including the 737 Max, but because they are new as well, they're different than the 800s. It's one of the newest 737-800 in Norwegian's fleet. Can you believe it? It is brand new, just brand new. Look at the cabin. I'm really happy to fly on this cabin. Well, you can have live TV, you know. So it's the view of the cabin, and the view of the cabin. So yeah, so the cabin crew will shortly be commencing their in-flight service. Let's open the tray table and see what we have in our seat pocket. So the crew just gave me a menu, and we have the safety card, which unfortunately, I hate to say this, but it's really dirty. Have your vomit bag right here. So menu, Norwegian menu, the, the UK edition went to 2017, 2018. So here you have like all these sandwiches and stuff, toasties, whatever. You have burger there, and you have like whatever you have here. So I'm gonna get food on board. something and here you've got your shopping I don't know why they did it like upside down the shopping section on upside down and then the menu on upside down hell no what a retard okay so you can also buy um, Bluetooth headphones for 279 quid and you know that's all I can say so I'm gonna go ahead this case and get uh, I'm gonna go for a British egg and bacon muffin and as a dessert I'm gonna go for uh, brownies so for my dinner I'm gonna go for my late night dinner I'm gonna go for well it's not really late night but for my dinner I'm gonna go for this British egg and bacon muffin it's gonna be really nice and um, also I'm gonna go for this which is gluten-free even I'm not gluten allergic, I'm not allergic to anything. So this is the uh, seat pocket in flight magazine. It's really nice, smells really good as well.
probably over Denmark or south of Sweden. But wh wherever it is, wherever it is, it looks really nice. Guys, I hate to say this, but I can't see it very well. Oh yeah, I can. So we're high up in the sky. Now we've got a better view of it. So I will see you later when I have my meal. Okay, so here is my late evening snack. And it consists of, I got, um, for the main meal, I got a chicken burger. And I also got, as a dessert, they didn't have the, um, think of it. By the way, the chicken burger, they didn't have the, um, they only had that available. They didn't have the muffin available. The, um, was it called? Sausage and egg and bacon, I mean. Egg and bacon. They didn't have that available, so I went for that instead. They didn't have any others available apart from this one, so I got a chocolate muffin as well. Oh, it is a bit turbulent to also. And I also got a bottle of still water. And the crew also gave me, thanks to the crew, they gave me mayonnaise and tomato ketchup. So I think they also gave me tissue as well. Okay guys, so let's have a nice meal with great views over the outside, so it's night time right now. Okay, so let's eat. Okay guys, so this is the view of the toilet on board this 737. So, not all 737s have, have exactly this, this same toilet design because this is the newest toilet design as you can see. So um, you've got the soap and the basin, you press this for the water to come out and here you have your toilet flush and your toilet seat, you have your toilet bowl here, they all look really good, it's a really new design as well but um, it's generally, the cabin just looks new, the toilet, so not all separate zones have this toilet, I think it's the ones built from 2017 onwards including only the including the 737 NG and the 737 Max would already have these type of toilets. But the sink looks really good. I love the design. And here you have your uh, I don't know what they call it. Your baby tray. Your baby changing tray. So just put that down. It's foldable as well. You just put whatever you want there. So, by the way, compared to other Norwegian aircraft, like other 737s, I mean, not only on Norwegian, like any airline, like they usually have one or two, one mirror in the toilet, but this one has four mirrors. So this one has four mirrors. So one, two, three, and four. One at the door. So it should be landing in Gatwick in about a half an hour, 45 minutes or so. Hope you all enjoy this flower report and here's your coat hook here as well. So there are three toilets on board this aircraft, so there's one at the front, which we're in now, so we're at the front toilet and there are two at the rear as well. So we're on the front left side. So there are two rear two toilets at the rear of the cabin, so they have one on the right and one on the left. By the way, the tray table is not foldable on those toilets because we're at the front of the cabin. I love this toilet design, it is so great. Here we have your toilet bowl here, and your tissues and your um, litter bin. So I love this design. Oh shit, what was that? And your soap here. So we'll see you when we start our descending to Gatwick. Bye for now. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, to comply with safety regulations, shall we leave the cabin lights before we land? Okay, guys. The normal procedure when you're flying down some darkness, if you want to continue reading. You have a reading light, just step on over your head. Thank you. Okay, guys, so we're now um, descending.
descending into London Gatwick. So it's been a nice flight from Stockholm, Arlanda, on board this brand new spanking aircraft and also I think we do have another 15 to 20 minutes until landing so we're not far at all from Gatwick. So I believe we've entered the coasts of the UK and the seatbelt sign has just been switched on. So as you can see we're all preparing for landing so my seatbelt is fastened and I just need to now get my seat upright. There it is and my tray table is closed and window blind is open. Alright so it's been a nice flight and Norwegian is a really good airline. will recommend it for many other passengers who prefer flight within Western Europe. So I really will recommend Norwegian as well. So I think that Norwegian's got a better service than Ryanair. Norwegian's like really good. This is the new aircraft, we were lucky this time as well. Hopefully on the way back we might, we might be lucky as well. And. Um, So we really are not far from Gatwick. And the legroom has been good on this flight. Friendly cabin crew and also the um, friendly cabin and the good service they have on board. And I also ate the chicken burger and the uh, chicken burger we had with cheese and also I had the um, chocolate muffin for, and the chocolate muffin as a dessert. So they were all really good and thank you Norwegian. So as you can see, the crew are now doing, um, just now passing through the cabin for checks before landing. And I am pleased with Norwegian service, really am. So I am not sure upon landing if they're going to use idle reverse or full reverse because it's Gatwick and it's night time as well because Norwegian can use both depending on the runway conditions and the weather and stuff like that and the time of day Because it's almost 11 at night, it's quite late, they might use idle reverse, which I like. And it's going to be flaps 30 because Norwegian doesn't really use flaps 40 that much at Gatwick, except for when they have to make a very quick exit from the runway and when they do hard braking. Okay, so I will, if you don't mind, I will see you when we are on our short finals, on our very last finals on to Gatwick. By the way, the cabin lights have been dimmed. Cabin lights are now off, so it's a normal procedure when flying in darkness, when flying in the, in the hour of darkness. But who, who the fuck cares if you turn your personal reading light on? If you want to use your electronic devices or whatever it is you want to read or whatever. Ooh, been a nice flight, it's late at night as well, so I will be seeing you on the finals. Right guys, so we're now approaching Gatwick almost. Almost approaching Gatwick, and the flaps are now on uh, five. I think. I think they're set to one, two, or five. I'm not sure. Oh, landing gear. Cabin crew. And the flaps are on twenty, I believe. 
No, probably on 15 or 25. It's flaps 25. I think it should be. I think they'll all be set to either 30 or 40 in a minute. And then we can tell if it's a hard break in or not. They're still on 25, what the hell? Oh, they're being set to more. I think it's flaps 30 or 40. I'm not sure, but I think it's flaps 30 or 40. I think it's 40, guys. I think it's flaps 40. I think it is going to be a hard break. So we're landing on the other side of the runway, guys. Ready for landing. It is flaps 40, guys. And I think it's going to be idle reverse. Are you ready? Hard oh, touch time, but still good though. It's idle reverse, everyone. I told you. <laughs> ah. Oh, shit. You can hear them carbon brakes, but you can't hear them now. So, it was a good landing. What the fuck is going on that out there? So, I think it was flaps 40. No hard braking though. Well, 
Alright, so welcome everyone to London and Gatwick Airport. Finally arrived. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to London. And, and it was flaps Airport. 40. Please remain seated, keep your seat belt fastened and keep the aisle free from all hot luggage. So welcome everyone. Has come to a complete stop and the fastened seat belt sign has been turned off now. 73700. For more information, you will find us at This is Tango Alpha Whiskey India GTAWI. We flew on this to Paphos, remember? Intro and his crew. We think you can fly Norwegian and look forward to some word again soon. Also, again, thank you very much and have a lovely evening. Please remain seated and keep your seatbelt So, remember, we flew on this plane, yeah? But it was flaps 40, guys, it was. That's by the way, two airways, seven five seven two hundred G O O B E. So there he is. He's on a remote stand as well, and that's British Airways. A three nineteen. That's two airways, G F D Z D. He's not the standard, but T A W I is. I think this one's built in 2007 or 8, but Whiskey India was built in 2012. So that is British Airways A319 as well. So it was an idle reverse landing because it's late at night, I think they used it. By the way, I can see Thomas Cook, A321. Now I can see Ukraine International Airlines, 737-800. No, well, I think I saw a Norwegian 787 as well. And there you can start to see the easy jets again. So it looks like we found our parking position, or maybe not. I don't think we have yet. So we're not going to be parked on a remote stand, I don't think so. We, I think we're just going to be parked on a normal gate. So from the other side, I can start to see the south terminal now. And we finally arrived after a two hour flight. We did do one or two turns in the air though. It was no aborted landing and no go around. Haven't seen any Ryanair here yet because I don't think they have it at this time of night because Ryanair doesn't have a basic Gatwick. We're back in the UK after a month of not being here. Oh, by the way, I can see another Norwegian 737, by the way. I think we're going to be parked on somewhere between gates 1 to 5. I think it's EIFJG. I think on the other side I can see FVV. This is FJG. He's built in 2010 and he's not the sky interior. So we're coming to a stop. So there we are. We come in. I think we parked on gate two where we departed from. And came to a stop. There we are, all there. So welcome everyone to London Gatwick Airport South Terminal. <sighs> there we are. So 
So welcome everyone here to London Gatwick Airport South Terminal and thank you very very much for watching this video and taking this flight report with me and please stay tuned for more videos in the future and I will also look forward to see you on the 2nd of March from here back to Stockholm Arlanda Airport where I will be staying until summer in Sweden so stay tuned for more videos so if you like my videos please like and also comment and subscribe to my channel and if you like trains and plays and aviation also please do watch my videos and also please comment and like to the videos on on the last videos as well on the last few videos so it's been a good experience on fox Rock victor whiskey on this new eight month old airplane so once again thank you very much and Please do stay tuned for more videos in the future. So, um, by the way, we're on gate two where we departed from, and that's EIFJG. I don't know where he came from. Okay, so thank you everyone for watching once again, and peace out, and good night to you all.